Welcome to another Dorklair action figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the Cosmic Legion's PowerCon exclusive Scourge from Four Horsemen Studios. This is a Whiplash tribute and as usual with the Four Horsemen Studios Masters of the Universe tributes, this was available at PowerCon. This was a 2023 PowerCon debut figure alongside the Manny Faces tribute, which is called Operative. I'll review that very soon as well. But it is also available for pre-order as part of the Outpost Zaxius wave, which will release sometime in 2024. So if you missed out on the PowerCon exclusive version, there's no need to worry at all. The only difference is some packaging differences because they don't have the Outpost Zaxius packaging ready to go yet. So they used like the Cosmic Legions wave one packaging for these. So that's the only difference is the packaging. The figures otherwise will be identical. So if you pre-order one from a retailer, it's going to be the same figure that you see here. You're just going to have to wait a while. Also, if you are feeling bold, I doubt the aftermarket is going to be too crazy for these. They never really are. I would say if you want to go after it, maybe just give it a little more time. Maybe wait till we're on to the next thing, like the Legions Con exclusives. Once people are like battling for those, you can kind of go back and pick up this thing probably not for straight retail, but not, you know, for a decent price. And this thing has awesome presence and the sculpture is insane. So I actually have not opened the other figure that is basically the same one with a different color from the Cosmic Way. Like Kragnar, I have not opened it yet because I haven't gotten to that review yet. I've had a very busy summer. And so this is my first experience with a painted Kragnar body. I did the test shot, but once it's painted up, it kind of changes everything in terms of like how you see that sculpture. So really intricate, really impressive stuff there. Of course, you have this vibrant Masters of the Universe style paint job with these shiny metallic blues. Um, contrasting with the flat greens with the faded brighter greens and the darker greens of both the lizardy skin as well as that upper torso um, like collar harness piece. Anyway, enough turntable. Let's get into this review. Here's a nice close-up of that dragon head sculpt from the Poxus Wave Arachagor figure. So this is sort of reuse before the figure's out and a little preview teaser of how that figure is going to look very similar figure to this because it uses that Kragnar body and then this new dragon head this figure also comes with the Kragnar head which I'll show during the accessories but really cool stuff it's got that articulated jaw and you know you can see the eyes have more of a toy kind of look to them because this is based on you know, a classic toy or cartoon, a little more over the top, bright, vibrant kind of look here, but really cool head sculpt. And just like getting all into this stuff is where I'm really impressed. Just like, look at all that sculpture detail that comes out with the wash and the fades and the shadows and stuff with all these um, greens kind of mixing together and fading in and out of each other. Uh, yeah, really cool stuff. And you have this harness, which is interesting because it latches on the bottom, but it doesn't latch around the back, like the Mythic Legion's ogre scale figures. And then you have this ring right here that makes me think he was chained up at some point. So that would go back to the Kragnar figure, right? He was imprisoned and that would connect story-wise to Kragnar. You got that metallic blue piece in the middle front here. Yeah, really cool stuff. And I'll, I'll remove things and I'll maybe do some swaps so that you can see um, how things look without all of the gear. We have the belt right there. You've got like that eye in the middle. <clears throat> and the like dragon, I don't know, I feel like this is a, a dragon themed sculpture, like almost like dragon wings right here. And then the legs continue with a lot more of that same lizard skin sculpture. And then we got that lower leg armor and the bare lizard feet with the three toes in the split there. And then just a slightly different angle look at the tail so that we can see the underside of it and the fading greens and the very sharp sculpture. There is a swivel mid tail and it's looped around the waist and there's no real articulation up top. It just can kind of float around a little bit there. And there's no bendy wire or anything. It's just two static solid pieces of plastic. So really cool dragon type character and nice little teaser of what we're going to see with the Poxus Wave Arachagor figure. Zooming out for an overall look at the figure, you can see the legs are a little shorter and the torso is a little longer. These ogre scale figures are meant to be 
ogres. They're not meant to be humans or human proportions. So you get that kind of monstrous silhouette, which I really like. It gives it some variety in the line. Height-wise, Scourge stands almost to 10 inches. At the top of the horns, it's just about 10 inches. Top of the head, maybe nine and three quarters. Starting off comparisons with a couple ogre scale figures. On the right is the straight up ogre Kurzog. And you can see that the Scourge Kragnar body is definitely bigger, longer in the torso, um, I think a little bit longer in like the, the, the lower legs in different places. So it's much bigger than a standard ogre, but it's going to actually be compatible. So you're going to be able to mix and match parts among them. And Equidron on the left, though it does use that standard ogre body, it has hooves and it has a longer neck and horse head that bring it up pretty much equal, slightly higher in height than the Scourge figure. And then here he is next to a couple 1.0 build Cosmic Legion's Wave 1 figures. On the left is Thygar, on the right is the Svexian. And I don't yet have the Whiplash from Masterverse, but on the left is a Masterverse Buzz-Off, and on the right is a Masters of the Universe Classics Buzz-Off, which gives you a sense of how this Scourge figure looks next to a couple Masters of the Universe figures. Now we have a couple bigger guys. On the left is Master Wang from Fury Toys, and on the right is Zog from the NECA Mirage TMNT line. Next, a couple six-inch figures. On the left is the D13 Demon with a Boss Fight Studios Epic Hacks skeleton pumpkin head sculpt on there, which pops on nicely. It's actually a great look, I think. And on the right is the Mezco 112 Collective Conan the Barbarian. For accessories, he does have three sets of hands. This set is gesturing. He's got one on each side. He also has a pair of gripping hands so he can hold the weapons and a pair of fists. And all three sets of hands have horizontal hinges. For weapons, he does have the standard um, axe that comes with a lot of the ogre scale figures and these are parts that can be popped off and then swapped among them so you can do like a kind of a shorter axe mace type thing or you can like attach this and make it a longer piece and then what I would describe as his main weapon this is the tribute weapon so you've got um, a kind of kit bashed together piece that's supposed to sort of represent the vintage toy weapon and this can pop apart here so this is one half of that like elven double-bladed sword and then you have this part here which i believe is from the banners and there's actually some nice little paint work down in here some extra golds and then you have the trident head here and that also pops apart and then he's got the kragnar head sculpt so you get more of an alien look i think he's a duoderm because he has two arms and then kragnar is a tetraderm with the forearms for articulation the head has a wide range of movement like you can really move this thing around because there are two points of articulation in there. You have a big ball at the base of the neck and then a small one where the head pops on. So quite a, quite a good range of motion. He can look down, he can look up, he can look side, and he can look to the other side. Arm is on a hinge that can come up to about here. It's definitely gonna stop there because the, the like scales are just not gonna let it go any further than that. It's also on a swivel as well. You can go all the way around with that. Single jointed elbow is pretty minimal, like it's not gonna come any further than this. And then there is a swivel at the elbow, and then these forearms are constructed differently than the Mythic Legion's typical ones, like the 1.0 and 2.0. This is actually a piece over the top of the forearm. So if you pop the hand off, you get a bare forearm right there. And probably the biggest difference and the biggest improvement from the original Ogres is that this has a two-part torso. So at the top of the torso, you have a big um, double ball joint. So you can get a nice range of motion there. He can hunch way forward. He can go way back. He can come side to side. And just a lot of good range of motion there. And then it still does have the ball joint at the waist. But this one doesn't really crunch forward very far. I think it's because of the design of the torso down in here, but it does twist and he can arch back a bit. Ball jointed hips, he can kick forward really well, cannot kick back because the piece on the butt basically is going to prevent it from going backwards very far and the tail is not helping either. There is a twist at the top of the leg, single jointed knee, very minimal range there, twist below the knee. At the ankle, you have a twist, you have a hinge that can come up this far, and then back down this much. And then you also have an ankle rocker. Wrapping this one up with a little part swap kit bash here. I took the boots and belt from Bothar the Tower, the half giant. And then I took the bracers 
from Kurzog the Ogre. The cape is from Max Bird. And the big old club is from the Axie Toys T-Rex. And I think this looks great. It just takes a, um, a more bright kind of Masters of the Universe figure and sort of translates it a little more into a just straight up dragonborn type character to fit right in with your mythic legions and while the greens are bright i think it still works pretty well because all of the grittier browns and stuff they 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 help to kind of subdue it all so i like this look i really like this scourge figure thanks for watching my video and until next time may the force be with you